Let's jump into our doc, uh, next story. A tweet asked what you would do if you woke up in Dubai and the answers did not disappoint. So of course the top of the list uh, for people who around the world they said they would visit the Burj Khalifa and then the rest of the thread is really solid inspiration for the next time you have a visitor. Well, visit the Burj Khalifa followed by skydiving, shopping, a night boat uh, at the harbour. And someone actually mentioned the meat company, which I love. Oh my god. It's a good spot. Have you been? Of course I have. Yeah, I, I, I love great. it. It's really good. It's really good. It's one of those OG restaurants that's been on for so long and you yeah. go and they've maintained the quality. And I think because of the location, the, because there's one in uh, down the Souk al yeah, and there's Souk also one in Souk al Okay. So yeah. they're both outside and they both have lovely views and the food quality is always maintained. So I think, yeah, I get why that made the list. I mean, honestly, uh, the best thing uh, about like restaurants in Dubai is that some of them really, when they first open, they, there's this, like this big, big, big hype. Mm. And then when they get this like big hype and this kind of like fame and name, and it's like, it's kind of like drops down. So like, Regarding like the meat and co, it's like it's it has stayed the same Company, throughout. Yeah, you know, like the consistency is still there. However, what would you do if let's say like you don't know about Dubai and you're just like coming here for like a quick, I don't know, not a quick or like a vacation? What would you do? Yeah, it's there's so many things, and I just think when I saw this tweet, it reminds me, and I know I say this so often that like we're so blessed. So I went for a run in our new neighborhood yeah. this uh, Saturday morning, and um, it's production city. I couldn't see the Burj, I couldn't, I couldn't see anything, yeah. but it was sunny and it was a Saturday morning and uh, there's a lake nearby and I was like, I was like, we're so lucky to live here. Yeah. E- like even just like, you don't have to be at the top of the Burj Khalifa. There's so, like this tweet shows that people around the world want to come here. The traffic on the roads show that it's a vibrant city. Um, always people are looking for jobs. So it doesn't matter if you're at the top of the Burj Khalifa or you're literally just walking down a street in Dubai. If you have a job here, you're blessed to be here. And That's what the tweet reminded me of, that like we can sometimes take our blessings for granted, but just to, to be working here with a safe environment makes us really lucky. Well, I have a question for you. <laughs> Describe to me the perfect day starting from like the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep in Dubai. The perfect day. Um, I want to know. I want to yeah. imagine. <laughs> I want to actually imagine. <laughs> My perfect day? Yeah, perfect, perfect day if I have a visitor. <laughs> really? Oh. No, that's it. as in like, I don't know if people would want my specific oh. perfect day, oh, okay. <laughs> but like, I like to wake up early, like to exercise. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'd like to go for a hike in, um, I'd like to go for a hike in Jebel Jace. I would like for my car not to be taken away in the floods. <laughs> um, and then I would like uh, great food in kind of like uh, a homegrown restaurant. Um, you know, like there's an amazing ceviche place in JLT I want to go yes. to. There's amazing, um, what's that great place for ramen uh, in? Where? It's in, my memory for names is so bad. Great ramen spot. And a lady started it during COVID in her mm. home, started doing supper clubs and it got so popular that she set it up. Is anyone watching on the live right now? Does anyone know? <laughs> so it's Barsha Heights next to the Jumeirah Hotel there. Oh, what's it called? Okay, anyway, okay. A, a nice restaurant in a homegrown eatery here. Um, there's so much great food here that doesn't need to be overpriced. And then in bed at a reasonable hour. <laughs> mm, that's actually very nice. Well, my perfect uh, day, let me say, like living in Dubai, of course, I would love to wake up really early in the morning, watch the sunrise, mm, have breakfast, love that. go for a walk, and then get back home and then go to the beach because I love the beach, of course. Nice. Beaches in the UAE is amazing. I mean, I love the beach. And then after that, love it. get back home again, um, shower, get ready, I don't know, go out with my friends, have like uh, a nice, I don't know, dinner? That's the best no. thing about Dubai. You can do both, Literally. right? You can have the sunrise, you can go to the beach, and then you can have your glam night out. The best of both worlds, you guys. And... Um, If anyone knows that great ramen restaurant in JLT, please send it my way. Uh, I'll, I'll know 